Good morning, everyone. I made it home, my place of birth, Racine, Wisconsin. Racine is a, I would say, a medium-sized uh, city of about 77,000 people. Uh, Racine County is about 196,000 residents. And Racine sits uh, on the Lake Michigan shore and on the mouth of Root River. So today, I'm gonna take you on a tour around the city I grew up in and where I was raised. The city of Racine is 90 miles north of Chicago and approximately 22 miles south of Milwaukee. This used to be called the Racine Community Center, now it's called the Tyler Domer Community Center. All oh, this brings back fond memories. I'm gonna take a look inside. I dropped a lot of threes on that This was the first elementary school I attended, Garfield Elementary. The second elementary school I attended, Jane's Elementary School. And the exterior looks exactly the same. The playground, everything looks the same. This was the junior high school I attended. Kenley School, looks now that it's called Walden. Walden the third middle and high school. So this is also a high school. All right, this used to be strictly a junior high school. Here's another junior high school I went to, Washington Junior High School. And I see over there that it is called Red Apple School. So this was one of the two junior high schools that I attended here in the city of Racine. This is the high school that I graduated, Washington Park High School. Washington Park Panthers. We used to have a house right here, 920 Jackson Street. There's nothing here now. That tree is here. There used to be a house right here. Our house was here. And this is the street. Over here, was Cherry Hill and Casey Hill. There are houses over here now. This is LaSalle Street. And we used to have a house right here too. I just showed you that we had a house right there. It's not there anymore. But before we moved in that house, we lived in an area 
right here. There was like a duplex here and we lived in one of the duplexes. This house right here was one of the houses I grew up in. 1235 Racine Street. I don't think anyone lives here anymore. But we lived upstairs and another family lived downstairs. That's where we used to live. Had a little two-car garage in the back. And this is the street, Jones Street. And it's down here where we had uh, a lot of places to explore in that wooded area down there. And on this corner, a lady by the name of Mary lived. This is a very nice house right here. This is the Root River. As a kid, I did lots of fishing here. Lots of bluegill. Carp. Of course, you catch those carp, you throw them back. But they really built a place up down here. A few moments ago, right up there, right above the tree line there, over that is where I showed you where uh, I lived. And I would come down through that wooded area and I'll end up in this field right here. Now, this walkway right here for this bike trail wasn't here when I left Racine. All this was all grassy area. And these trees that we're seeing in front of us, these weren't here either. Now these big ones, yeah, these were, but I'm saying right here, and I would walk through this field as a shortcut to get to high school. The high school that I showed you, Washington Park High School, is in that direction over the tree line. In the winter time, the river would freeze over. And rather than walking to school in the winter, yes, we walk to school in the winter up here in seven inch, a foot of snow, uphill both ways across that bridge you see over there so rather than going across that bridge and walking all the way around to get to high school to school if the river froze over we will come down here and cross over the river as a shortcut and then it gets to high school in the winter you'll see people out here well back then anyway they'd be out here skating you know, or they'd be on their jet skis I don't know if they allow that now, but that's how it was back in the day. But this is now called Clayton Park. Area over there for the kids to play. Half court basketball goal here. And a little soccer field right over there. Uh, two softball fields here and they still keep the park well manicured i used to love coming down here just chill out you can cook out barbecue here uh the root river winds through here as well i'm gonna take you over there and show you that I remember this tree. I spent lots of time here, right here at this spot. This is also the Root River.
I fished a lot here. This is Holic Dam. Out there, it was just one big pond. There was no beach area. There was nothing here, nothing. No parking lot, nothing, just a blue hole, a deep blue hole. That's what we called it. We called it a blue hole. Now, if you look off there in the distance, you see uh, some cliffs out there. And there are trees sitting on top, trees embedded within the cliffs that encircled this entire area now it's called quarry park it's built up uh, very nice out here as you can see behind me where i'm sitting there are picnic tables there are picnic tables over there there are uh, restroom facilities over here there are actually trails out here as well that one could hike there appears to be biking trails too. And uh, this afternoon, people are out here uh, enjoying the day. They are here on the beach and it's very clean. It's not that real fine sand. It's a, it's a fine gravel, but it's better than nothing. You used to fish in there as well. That water was so clear and it appears to be the same way that you can see 15, 20 feet beneath. And I recall there were bluegill in here, crappy, maybe some trout, I don't know. But uh, the fishing was very good. It's like as soon as you threw your line in, they would hit it. building directly behind these giraffe. This is called the Charles A. Wustam Museum of Fine Arts. When I was in the seventh grade, a piece was submitted. Uh, that piece was of uh, a black American boy who was carrying a book in his right hand. I struggled with a title for that book that was in his right hand. So I just kept it simple and decided it would be called Book representative of all books one might pick up, read, or carry. Here at Pershing Park, this is like a, a causeway. You can go out there to those boulders, just sit and look out over Lake Michigan there to the east. You can also walk, run, or bike this path here. And it continues on straight ahead there.
We're still down on the lakefront near Pershing Park and the boat launch area. This is uh, Paul P. Harris, namesake, Rotary Park. Here's an example of one of the many types of apple trees that you'll find in the scene. These are small ones. These are what we call crab apples, but they're still very good. There's a lot of money in the racing. And this is one of quite a few boating docks in the city of Racine. Rumor has it, and I don't know this as a fact, I've heard this for a very long time, that uh, many of these boats that are anchored here uh, come out of Chicago. Again, I don't know if that's true or false. But when I see all this, I see money. Lots of it. It's a breezy day, but it's a very pleasant day. This is North Beach Park. It's a bunch of seagulls sitting out there. And the area that we just left was over there none of this was here none of these these bike trails were here it was basically all this right here just all trees they cleared a lot of that stuff out laid down some grass made it into a very very nice park The scene has some very nice, uh, very nice parks. The scene has a zoo. A fossa? I never heard of a fossa. Looks like a cat. Just a big cat. That's a big tiger. The African penguin? They have penguins in Africa? I had no clue. Okay, the zookeeper said there are 13 of them in there.
And this is the Racine Courthouse. It's the iconic Johnson's Wax Building. Santa's Park was one of my favorite parks. As a child, I loved coming out to Sanders Park. I thought it was so wondrous. And when you're a child, everything just looms large. And I always thought this was a just a beautiful park. In my elementary school, we used to have many field trips out here. And My teachers would make us all, my classmates and I, stay in a group. I was always that one who was curious and who would break from the group and just be out here, just out in these woods walking. Now you'll find uh, many campsites out here now. Uh, these black squirrels are here, chipmunk. And I'm just curious as to what it looks like now. It's uh, been many years since I've been out here. So here's a picnic area over to my right. That's very nice. Lush and green in here. picnic area where you can pull in your car and set up camp set up your picnic here's a gentleman out here jogging early in the morning not mad at him So there are plenty of areas out here where a person could actually pitch their tent. There's a tent pitched over here. I see picnic tables, a fire pit. There's a camper over to the left. More campers over to the left. But this is a very, very nice area. Very nice. Now, Sanders Park is within the city of Racine, so you're not really driving too far outside of the city to get here. And that was a quick tour of Sanders Park.